Good evening and welcome to the Hapford Township Board of Commissioners August regular meeting. Uh, Mr. Berman, would you please call the roll? Mr. D'Amelio is absent. Mr. Oliva? Here. Mr. McCluskey is absent. Mr. Siegel? Here. Mr. McCabe? Here. Mr. Holmes is absent. Mr. Wexler? Here. Mr. Quinn? Here. Dr. Hart? Here. Uh, Chief Biola, would you please lead us in the pledge? After the pledge, please remain standing. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd ask all to remain standing. The Haverford Township Bureau of Fire has asked me for a moment of silence for Belmont Hills firefighter Tom Royds, who paid the ultimate sacrifice on July 24th, 2021, who was struck by a vehicle while operating a motor vehicle accident on the Schuylkill Expressway. Firefighter Royds worked as a career firefighter at the Union Fire Association in Lower Marion and was also a captain with the Clifton Heights Fire Company. In addition, I ask that you all keep in mind former Commissioner Jeff Heilman of the Fifth Ward, who was also struck in a motor vehicle accident and killed last week as well. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Next item on the agenda is Citizens Forum. This is 30 minutes for registered speakers or speakers for agenda items only. There are no registered speakers. Okay, next item is appointments of entry-level police officers. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> we did. We did hear it, Mr. President. Okay. I move. Go you ahead. Have the list? I move that we accept the list. Okay, second. Second. Second by Commissioner Quinn. Mr. Mr. Oliva. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. McCabe. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Yes. Okay. Uh, presently, our police department has four vacancies. The top candidates to be presented have successfully passed the written, oral, and uh, agility tests. Also, the candidates have been presented with a conditional offer of employment pending the completion of the hiring process. For the first uh, vacancy, I will read uh, from the approved list three names to the board for, consider for consideration, and then the board will engage in a formal vote. We have Jessica Lazaro, uh, uh, Ale Alexandra, okay. excuse me, Alexandra Gale, Ricky Williams. Present. I make a motion to appoint Jessica Lazaro as a Haverford Township entry level police officer. Second. Second by Commissioner Quinn. Mr. Byrne, would you call over? Mr. Oliva. Here, yeah. Jessica Lazaro. Mr. Siegel. Ms. Lazaro. Mr. McCabe. I abstain due to my role on the Civil Service Commission. Mr. Wexler. Ms. Lazaro. Mr. Quinn. Ms. Lazaro. Dr. Hart. Ms. Lazaro. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, now for the second uh, vacancy, Alexandra Gale, Ricky Williams, Nicholas Shannon. Mr. President, I make a motion to appoint Alexandra Gale as a Haverford Township entry level police officer. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Quinn again. Mr. Oliva. Um, Alexandra Gale. Mr. Siegel. Mr. Gale. Mr. McCabe. I abstain due to my role on the Civil Service Commission. Mr. Wexler. 
Alexander Gale. Mr. Quinn. Gale. Dr. Hart. Gale. Okay. Congratulations. Now we have uh, Ricky Williams, Nicholas Shannon, Thor Johnson. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion to appoint Ricky Williams as a Haverford Township entry level police officer. Second. Second by Commissioner Oliva. Mr. Berman, please call the roll. Mr. Oliva. Ricky Williams. Mr. Siegel. Mr. Williams. Mr. McCabe. I abstain due to my role on the Civil Service Commission. Mr. Wexler. Mr. Williams. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Yeah, Mr. Williams. And for the fourth uh, position, Nicholas Shannon, Thor Johnson, Michael Brennan. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion to appoint Nicholas Shannon as a Haverford Township entry level police officer. Second. Second by Commissioner Oliva again. Mr. Berman, please call the roll. Mr. Oliva. Nicholas Shannon. Mr. Siegel. Mr. Shannon. Mr. McCabe. I abstain due to my role on the Civil Service Commission. Mr. Wexler. Mr. Shannon. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Mr. Shannon, congratulations. On behalf of the uh, Civil Service Commission, I would like to thank the board and that we are always pleased to provide this service for the board. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. If I may, Commissioner Jessica, would you mind coming up? Commissioner Jessica Lazaro is 36 years old and from Philadelphia. She resides in Havertown with her husband, Anthony, and three kids, Zoe, Jonathan, and Nicholas. She graduated from Temple University with a Bachelor of Arts degree in criminal justice in 2008. She worked as a juvenile probation officer in Philadelphia and Bucks Counties before becoming a Philadelphia police officer in 2012. Her hus husband also serves as a police officer in Philadelphia. Jessica. Alexandria. Alex. Alex is 29 years old and currently from Sarasota, New York. She graduated from Virginia Tech in 2014 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Environmental Resource Management and a minor in Psychology. She serves as a Virginia Tech police officer from 2015 to 2020. Alex also worked at the Newcastle County Police Department and served there since 2020. She played college lac lacrosse and currently is attending Liberty University working towards a master's degree. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Commissioner Rick Williams is 35 years old and from Penn, Ben Salem, PA. Rick graduated from Ben Salem High School in 2004. He then graduated from Penco Tech School with an associate's degree in 2006. Ricky was a repair technician for SEPTA before becoming a Philadelphia police officer in 2010. He resides in Morton and is married to his wife, Lindsay, and her two children, Michaela and Madison. Congratulations. Nicholas Shannon, 32 years old, from Northeast Philadelphia. He graduated from Penn State University in 2010 with a degree in psychology. Nick comes to us from the City of Philadelphia Police Department, where he has worked since 2013. He resides in Swarthmore, PA. He's married to his wife, Ashley. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Commissioners, I just take a moment to thank the Civil Service Commission. Uh, this, as we all know, is a long process. 
Uh, we worked hard this time to get the word out to as many people as possible. Uh, back 10 years ago, we used to get 300 people who would take our test. Everybody across the nation with police departments has dropped off dramatically. So to work through our, our officers, uh, we got out there to colleges, uh, we put advertisements. Uh, last time we tested was close to 80. This time we, we topped 163. So we're happy with the results. We got a good turnout and we got the best of the best here. And we also have more people on the list. Hopefully we can appoint them in the next few years. So as usual, thank you very much for supporting the police department. You always stand by us and we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Next item on the agenda is Bureau of Fire Update. Commissioner Wexler. Yes, thank you. Half the Township Bureau of Fire responded to 121 incidents in the month of July 2021. Membership response, total for members responding to calls was 1,182 members. Weekly combined training was 684 hours. All five companies attended the annual 4th of July fireworks display at Leonard Country Club. Prior to that event, a barbecue was held for all members 75 members of all departments were fire attended that barbecue and then provided safety coverage at the fireworks. Members of the Bureau of Fire also provided coverage to the Lower Marion Fire Department during the two line of duty deaths last month. Members from all five companies also provided details at the funeral home and attended the funeral service. Thank you. Once again, a reminder of how dangerous and, and valuable our volunteers are. Uh, item number five, Township Auditor Update. Hello, first I want to say I want to send my thoughts and prayers out to those families of the former commissioner and the firefighters that lost their lives this past month. That is so sad, especially for Lower Marion to lose two firefighters like that. But also, too, I want to congratulate all the new members of the police force and best of luck to them. Um, I reviewed the expenditures and warrants for this meeting. I found no irregularities and all my questions were answered to my satisfaction. I do got to say, though, I did double check things. You know, things seem a little bit off because the village are in first place and something doesn't <laughs> seem so right. <laughs> I also disclosed that I recently accepted a position as assistant controller for Sentinel Spine LLC in Westchester, PA. After talking with Amy, um, there, um, to the best of my knowledge, there are no conflicts of interest or threats of uh, independence um, to my role here. I do have to add, though, that now that I have to um, drive on Westchester Pike when I go to work, um, somebody needs to call up uh, PennDOT figure out who is in charge of uh, the lights in Westchester Pike and figure out why they hate Haverford Township so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll work on that. <laughs> All the state, state rep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Item number six, Mr. Berman, Township Manager, update. Thank you. As the board will recall, the federal government awarded Haverford Township nearly $20 million in funding from the American Rescue Plan Act, ARPA for short. Later this evening, the board will consider approval of a framework or spending structure for the first 9.9 .9 million, which were received back in May. The spending structure allocates the ARPA funds into seven broad categories of expenditures. It complies with the interim final rule issued by the U.S. Department of the Treasury. During the board's meeting on July 12th, we publicly reviewed the proposed spending structure and solicited public comments. We asked for those comments in writing via email or via U.S. mail. During the board's work session on August 2nd, we publicly reviewed the comments that we had received. And this evening, we will ask the board to consider approval of the spending structure. We'll ask the board um, to approve this spending structure, but all future disbursements would need to come back to the board for compliance with the purchasing requirements set forth in the charter, the first class township code, and the general laws of Haverford Township. 
In addition, we will ask the board to adopt a resolution authorizing the Back to Business Phase 1 program, which provides nonprofits and businesses located in Haverford Township with an opportunity to apply for a grant in the amount of $2,500. To qualify, businesses must have been active as of March 1, 2020, and continue to be active as of September 1, 2021, and either headquartered or have a physical location in the township. Businesses must have at least $25,000 in gross receipts as reported on their filed business privilege and mercantile tax returns. Businesses must have sustained at least a 20% reduction in revenues between 2019 and 2020. If a business started in 2019, gross receipts will be annualized to compare with 2020. Businesses must have a current business license in the township and they must be current and on all township business privilege and mercantile and local service tax filings due uh, May 15th, 2021 as extended. Passive businesses such as rental property owners are not eligible unless they have employees as reported on properly filed Haverford Township local services tax returns. Not-for-profit 501c3 entities are eligible for funding but must provide IRS Form 990 to support the eligibility criteria regarding the reduction in revenue. So the application deadline for this first round is September 30th, 2021 at 4 p.m. or 250 applications. So this first round is gonna be limited to the first 250 applications or September 30th, whichever comes first. Round two will open after we complete that first round. Grant awards again are $2,500 and awards are to be paid within 30 days of completed application submission. So the parameters for this program are that it's a one-time award for each business. It's based on a total of 750 applications in three phases. And if there are more, we may come back to the board to request a reallocation or adjustment to the program. And that's all I have this evening. Thank you. Item number seven, approval of minutes or a motion. Pres of uh, July 12th or uh, 2021. Second. Second by Commissioner Oliva. Uh, Mr. Berman, would you call the roll? Mr. Oliva. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. McCabe. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Yes. Item number eight, approval of warrants. Mr. President, uh, motion to approve the following warrant, number 8-2021, totaling $4,136,016.44. General uh, and sewer fund payroll for July 22nd, 2021 in the amount of $708,049.46. General and sewer fund payroll for August 5th, 2021 in the amount of $703,910.65. General fund disbursement number 8-2021 in the amount of $1,283,677.51. Sewer fund disbursements number 8-2021 in the amount of $147,270.57. Community Development Block Grant Fund dis dis Disbursement number 8-2021 in the amount of $53,472.42. Capital Projects Fund Disbursement number 8-2021 in the amount of $1,222,722.95. Second quarter PA unemployment compensation tax service in the amount of $53.28. Credit card statement ending July 27th, 2021 in the amount of $16,809.60. Mr. President, our auditor has reviewed these warrants and has raised any questions with our township personnel and they've been answered to his satisfaction. He recommends that we approve these warrants and I concur. Second. Second by Commissioner Quinn. Oh, Commissioner Siegel, sorry. Mr. Berman, could you call the roll? Mr. Oliva? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. McCabe? Yes. Mr. Holmes? I'm sorry. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Dr. Hart? Yes. Item number nine, ordinance number P12-2021, refunding, refunding of the 2016 general obligation bond. This is a second reading. 
Uh, Mr. President, uh, motion authorizing the incurring of non-electoral debt by the Township of Haverford to refund the Township's general obligation bonds series of 2016, providing for the issuance of a series of general obligation bonds in an aggregate principal amount not to exceed $10,650,000, appointing a paying agent and sinking fund depository and authorizing a paying agency agreement, setting forth provisions regarding the denominations, maturities, rates of interest, and terms of redemption of the bonds, and authorizing a book entry only system, therefore providing for the registration, transfer and exchange of these bonds, authorizing the sale of the bonds of private sale by negotiation or by private sale upon invitation, and authorizing the acceptance of the bond purchase proposal, authorizing the execution and delivery of the bonds. Uh, <laughs> con <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Covering the, the, the budget to pay the debt service and bonds, pledging the full faith, credit, and taxing power of the township for the payment therefore, thereof, establishing a sinking fund of the bonds, establishing a rebate fund, authorizing the redemption of the refund bonds, authorizing the execution and delivery of the escrow agent agreement for the refunded bonds, providing for the certain uh, covenants and designations regarding the federal income tax matters, authorizing the preparation and filing of the debt statement, barring base certificate, debt exclusion and proceedings and a transcript of the proceedings for the issuance of the bonds, providing for the disposition of the proceeds of the bonds, uh, covenanting to the pledge sufficient to the funds to refund the refunded bonds, providing for the form of the bonds, authorizing a preliminary and final official statement for the bonds, authorizing a municipal bond insurance policy and making certain agreements with the issuer of such policy providing that the Local Government Unit Debt Act shall apply to the bonds, providing that the ordinance shall be a contract with the holders of the bonds, authorizing certain additional actions, including the execution of a tax compliance agreement and continuing disclosure agreement of the township, delegating approval powers to certain officers, repealing the inconsistent ordinances, and setting forth the effective date hereof. Second. Second by Commissioner Oliva. I think we discussed this last time. Anyone have any comment? Can you reread that again? No. <laughs> <laughs> you got punishment. <laughs> Mr. Berman, can you call the roll? Mr. Oliva? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. McKay? Yes. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Dr. Hart? Yes. Item number 10, ARPA program, the American Rescue Plan Act. Uh, it's a motion. Mr. President. Spending Secretary, Commissioner Siegel? Motion to adopt resolution number 2229-2021. Excuse and, me, Mr. Siegel? Yeah. That uh, inadvertently was listed as a resolution, okay. and that should just be a simple motion okay. to adopt the spending. Okay. Motion to adopt the proposed spending structure and exhibit A to this resolution. Second. All right, seconded by Commissioner Quinn. Any comments? Mr. Berman, could you call the roll? Mr. Oliva? Yes. Mr. Mc, uh, Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. McKay? Yes. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Dr. Hart? Yes. Item number 11, resolution number 2230-2021, back to business grants. President, we'll okay. adopt resolution number 2230-2021, that the Board of Commissioners of Haverford Township hereby adopts the back to business phase one program in exhibit A of this resolution. It further authorizes the township manager, assistant township manager, slash finance director to take all actions necessary to accomplish the stated objectives of this resolution. Second. Second by Commissioner Wexler. Any comments? Mr. Berman, can you call the roll? Mr. Oliva? Yes. Mr. Siegel? Yes. Mr. McCabe? Yes. Mr. Wexler? Yes. Mr. Quinn? Yes. Dr. Hart? Yes. Item number 12, the 2022 budget adoption schedule. Mr. President. Motion to adopt the 2022 budget adoption schedule. Second. Second by Commissioner Oliva. Mr. Berman, could you call the roll? Mr. Oliva. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. McCabe. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Yes. Item number 13, tax settlements and stipulation. Council. President, motion to approve the settlement stipulation of council in the following owner initiated property assessment appeal matters and authorize council and proper officers to execute the necessary documents. 
Number one, property located at 101 Tunbridge Road, DC folio number 22-04-006900-00. Pending in the Court of Common Pleas, case, uh, case number CV-2020-008765, and number two, the property located at 201 Highland Lane, DC folio number 22-05-00428-00, pending in the Court of Common Pleas, case number CV-2020-009876. Second. Second by Commissioner Wexler. Mr. Bergman, could you call the roll? Mr. Oliva. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. McCabe. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Yes. Item number 14, ordinance number P7-2021, Shade Tree, first reading. Somebody take this. Mr. President, I'll make the motion to adopt the first reading of ordinance P17-2021, further amending and supplementing ordinance number 1510, chapter 170, adopted March 12th, 1973, and amended by ordinance 2508, adopted September 10th, 2007, and known as the general laws of the township of Haverford Trees. Second. Second by Commissioner Oliva. I believe we had a discussion at our work session. Are there any comments? Mr. Berman, can you call the roll? Mr. Oliva. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. McCabe. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Yes. Item number 15, ordinance number P11, 2021, traffic second reading. Mr. President. Yes, Mr. Levy. Motion to adopt the second reading of ordinance number P11, 2021, authorizing traffic restrictions on the following highways. In front of 2308 Bridmore Avenue, Ardmore, Pennsylvania, on Beulie Road, south at intersection of Land F Road. Second. 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 Right, Mr. Uh, Commissioner McCabe. Mr. Berman, could you call the roll? Mr. Oliva. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. McCabe. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Yes. Item number 16, uh, ordinance number P13, 2021, traffic second reading. Motion to adopt the second reading of or, or, or ordinance the number P13-20. Dash twenty or dash dash twenty twenty one amending chapter one 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 seventy five one seventy five six six or dash six or sixty seven towing hooking fees and storage charges. Second, Commissioner. Uh, second by Commissioner Oliva. Mr. Berman, could you call the roll? Mr. Oliva. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. McCabe. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Yes. Ordinance uh, item number 17, ordinance number P15, 2021, chapter 157, streets and sidewalks, first reading. Mr. President. Mr. Siegel. Motion to adopt the first reading of ordinance P15, 2021, amending chapter 157, streets and sidewalks. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Quinn. Any comments? I think this is a great, great, great idea. As I said last week, this, these are a lot of the calls we get are why is one side of the street being paved and not, and then it just looks bad. So I think this is great. Mr. Berman, could you call the roll? Mr. Oliva. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. McCabe. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Yes. Item number 18, ordinance number P17, 2021, traffic first reading. Mr. President. Mr. McCabe. Motion to adopt the first reading of ordinance number P17-2021, authorizing traffic restrictions on the following highways. Special purpose parking in front of 700 Buck Lane. Second. Second by Commissioner Oliva. Mr. Berman, could you call the roll? Mr. Oliva. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. McCabe. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Yes. Item number 19, resolution number 2228-2021, Delco Green Space and Trails Grant Application. Mr. President, I'll make that motion to adopt resolution 
2021, approving that the municipality of Haverford Township, Delaware County, Pennsylvania, hereby approved the filing of an application for Delaware County Municipal Grant Program Assistance, and that Haverford Township is hereby authorized and directed to execute and file the appropriate forms with the Delaware County Planning Department. Second. Second by Commissioner Oliva. Mr. Berman, could you call the roll? Mr. Oliva. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. McCabe. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Yes. Item number 20, contract awards. Mr. President. Yes. I'd like to make a motion to award the 2021-2022 20, uh, salt contract to Eastern Salt Company in the amount of six, $63.60 a ton, submitting the lowest responsible bid. Second. Second by Commissioner Siegel. Mr. Berman, could you call the roll? Mr. Oliva. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. McCabe. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Yes. Are your chilling system at the stadium? Make a motion to award the contract for the purchase and installation to replace a carrier chilling system at the stadium to carrier of Plymouth Meeting, Pennsylvania in the amount of $33,117. Second. Second by Commissioner Quinn. Any comments? Mr. Berman, could you please call the roll? Mr. Oliva. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. McCabe. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Yes. LED light fixtures at the stadium. Mr. President, also at the stadium, motion to approve the purchase and installation of 22 LED light fixtures and related lamps from Miller Lighting and Energy Incorporated, Newtown, Pennsylvania, in the amount of $7,529. Second. Second by Commissioner Oliva. Mr. Berman, please call the roll. Mr. Oliva. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. McCabe. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Yes. Niter Hall. Mr. President. Mr. Siegel. Motion to award the contract for the Niter Hall chimney and stucco repair to Grudzinski Custom Stonework of Downingtown, Pennsylvania in the amount of $11,200, representing the lowest responsible quote. Second. Second by Commissioner Quinn. Mr. Berman, please call the roll. Mr. Oliva. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. McCabe. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Yes. Professional Services Agreement Cable Franchise. Mr. President. Mr. Commissioner Siegel. Motion to enter a professional services agreement in an amount not to exceed $23,800 with the Cohen Law Group of Pittsburgh for the cable franchise renewal services, including a franchise fee audit to determine whether each cable operator has paid all the franchise fees to which the township is entitled. Second. Second by Commissioner Oliva. Mr. Berman, can you call the roll? Mr. Oliva. Yes. Mr. Siegel. Yes. Mr. McCabe. Yes. Mr. Wexler. Yes. Mr. Quinn. Yes. Dr. Hart. Yes. Item number 21 is the continuation of the Citizens Forum for non-agenda items. Is there anyone in the audience? Here we are again. Nice to Hi. see you guys. Hope your summer is going well. And congratulations to the new officers. We trust them to protect and serve. I need you to State your name. Oh, I'm sorry. Robert Dell, 5057 Brittany Lane. Thank you. Good evening, fellow township residents, both those seated in the audience and those in service. What a wonderful country we live in that gives us the opportunity to address our public servants face to face. This doesn't happen everywhere. And I hope and pray this significant area of public discourse is never stripped from our citizenry. The last time we we're here, there was a spirit of this spirit of discourse, as any town square should be and that is the right enshrined in our Constitution. As per the norm, the public servants are allowed the last word in this conversation. Mr. Siegel, you took this place to a place that becomes very dangerous. The other night I heard a very astute comment. This is the first time in our history where our public servants show open disdain for the citizenry they represent. And it's been on display in our township. We've had a school board member openly mock the taxpayers in attendance and then make unfounded baseless claims of a threat involving a gun. To her credit, she executed a mea culpa of sorts at the last meeting. Your time is now, Mr. Siegel. 
No one wants anybody to be the target of hate. And if what you said is true, and you left it at that, no one would have had an issue with your comments. However, just as Ms. Larson did, you chose to throw out an accusation at the people in this room with no names attached to it. This is nothing but throwing crap against the wall to see what sticks. And it's so far beneath public office, it's disgusting, Counselor. You made accusations of anti-Semitism while staring straight at me and another, but refused in a cowardly manner to attach names to your accusation. That is despicable and only serves to cause whisper down the lane and tear apart communities. You had no idea that my wife and my children are Jewish and have been victims of anti-Semitism, hate, and acts. And you threw that out there and let it hang in a room. That's absolutely disgusting. This is becoming a habit for public servants in this town. Make accusations with no names attached to the accused to allow rumor to float like a cancer. It's pedestrian at best. We wonder where your concern was for Lieutenant Bruce McClay when he was getting death threats and had to leave his home over the proverbial public lynching you executed. Did you check on his welfare? Give him the opportunity to assail you for all the havoc you brought upon his life? No, you didn't. You cavalierly disregarded the fallout from your political hit job. And last meeting, you went right back to throwing mud at the citizens. You owe this room, the board, the township citizenry, an apology for your outrageous, unfounded accusations and actions. We stand here and state our name and our address and address the exact people we're speaking to by name. You chose another way out with no chance of rebuttal. If you have evidence, show it. If not, apologize like a man and admit your anger got the best of you. We're tired of being treated like plebeians. We are the government. We the people. And this board can't restrain its disdain for the citizens they represent, then step down now. You better learn to listen to the people you represent because there's outrage growing. Humbly understand that your worldview isn't indicative of the township population as a whole, and you represent all of us. You'll get the last word in this closing argument, Counselor, but the room will judge you on your response. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Moving on to, is there any item number 22, new business? Any new business? Item 23, other business. Commissioner Oliva. Commissioner Siegel. Thank you. My response is I stand by my comments. I want to address three things though tonight. The first is um, Maryland Park, for those residents, has experienced an extraordinary number of power outages um, over the last year, three in the last three weeks, totaling over nine hours out, probably 40 to 50 hours of time out last year. The township is working on this, trying to address the issue with PICO. Um, I'm working with Mr. Berman and he's working with PICO and we will further report on this. Um, as we all know, um, this, this board lost a former colleague, Jeff Heilman. Uh, many of you know, Jeff and I were actually very close. Um, he stood for a lot of issues and things, and, and I stood for things, and we didn't agree much on national issues. We agreed on almost everything locally. Uh, and we both felt that each of we both, you know, had a kinship and supported each other. And he is one of my colleagues, I can always say, who was always direct, honest, and I enjoyed working with Jeff tremendously. I regretted when he didn't rejoin the board, but that is, you know, part of what happens, in, you know, in politics and our elections. To Jeff's family, I can tell you that you lost someone who, from my perspective, was an honorable person who stood up for his views, whether, you know, he and I agreed or not. Um, we agreed disagreeably, and he cared deeply about his constituents in the Fifth Ward, and to his children, JP and Amanda, and to the rest of his family, I offer my sincere condolences. 
um, at the loss of someone who cared about them very much, cared about this township, and who I and I know others on this board considered a good friend. And finally, we, we won't be back until after Labor Day and the holidays. So I wish everyone a good and sweet new year who observes. Ashana, to thank you. Thank you. Commissioner uh, McCabe. Uh, thank you. Just uh, a couple quick things. One is the uh, Cooperstown Civic Association is having a meeting tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at the pavilion in uh, Cooperstown, right at the Cooperstown School. Uh, St. John Newman's Saint Stop, it's a 5K race. We'll, uh, it kicks off on September 18th. Um, you can sign up online for that. Um, and finally, I just want to say that um, I've had the privilege of serving as the chair of the Civil Service Commission for the last number of years. And I want to uh, echo what Chief said and thank uh, the other members of the, of the committee, um, Jim Knapp and Janet Pacella. Uh, I'm really excited about this group of folks coming in. I think they're outstanding, and I think they're going to do a great job for Haverford Township. So um, it was a good, good job done by all. Thanks. Commissioner Wexler. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to offer my thanks to the Hilltop Civic Association for their Truly great efforts in the July 4th celebration for our neighborhood over there. I'd also ask if anybody out there, please volunteer to assist them. There's many other opportunities coming up this year, the Halloween trick or treat, treat and trunk and uh, other, other activities that are coming up. Uh, I'd also like to welcome our new police officers here. They're, whether they know it or not, they're, they're, they're coming to the best police department in Delaware County, bar none. Uh, we have good leadership, good township, Starts with Mr. Berman, starts with the chief, the deputy chief. So they are very fortunate to be coming here, I think. Uh, they're going to get good training, even though they've got seasoned experience as police officers. So we welcome them, and it's, it's good to see that we've reached a level of diversity. So thank you to the Civil Service Commission um, uh, for doing that and for the, them being the most qualified people that you could get for us. I'd also like to mention Commissioner Heilman. He was a friend, as Mr. Siegel eloquently stated. He was never at a loss for words and never, never lo lost his passion for any topic that he was concerned with. And my condolences go out to his son, JP, and Amanda as well. As she returns to college, JP returns to work without the guidance of their father. It's truly a crime. Um, and it, it's a sad event. It was a sad funeral, but uh, they'll go on. They were, they were raised by strong parents. Uh, they're strong kids, and they'll go on. And Jeff was a strong father, so they'll... They'll make it, and uh, with maybe some guidance from some of us and his friends. So thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. You're welcome. Commissioner Quinn. Yes, I too would like uh, to echo my uh, condolences to Jeff. Jeff was um, back when I first be be began to come to these board meetings back in 03 when I was 18. I don't know why I would go when I was 18 too. To, <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was fun, but, but um, I sat out there with Jeff every month and back then it was uh, real fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those meetings would go till two or uh, till 2 a.m. So, but um, uh, I was heart, heart bro 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 broken to hear about Jeff and that was just sad and, and, um, and just, just sad. And also, I'd like to uh, congr congratulate the new or uh, the new officers who joined the town, and they are joining the best police force, as Bill and all of us say. And um, and also, la last week um, we had the night 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 out, and thank thank you to the police for all that. Everybody I talked talked to that went there thought thought it was such a fun night. You saw the kids r r r or like or running around, so so it was great and. Last but not least, the Phillies are in first place. So who would have thought that? And that's all I have. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I also congratulate the police officers on, on, on joining a great department. Um, I also wanted to recognize Temporal Lutheran Faith Community on Brookline Boulevard and Pastor Tim Johansson. They recently installed um, solar panels on their roof, which will supply 100% of their electricity. Uh, I think in light of today's UN climate uh, report on the um, impending, well, a, a crisis that we're in that can, is only getting worse. We need more churches and businesses and residents to, to follow in their lead. Uh, 
probably wouldn't have been possible without the work of a lot of volunteers uh, who are members of our EAC, who belong to a Solarize group, which is encouraging um, solar uh, residents to uh, put solar panels on their roof. And, and again, they do this, there are volunteers, they're always out there. Another group of volunteers is a lot of residents have been working on um, stream bank restoration, removal of um, invasive plants, they giving up um, numerous uh, mornings throughout the summer and have done a great deal of work. It's work that will continue into the fall. So I, we thank you for them and for all the people who are volunteering. Uh, Mr. Berman, you have. Yes, thank you, Dr. Hart. Um, one last note that I forgot to mention earlier. Our uh, sanitation crews will be attending a training session on Monday, September 27th. I want to give you advance notice because we can't do brush collection that day. It's right before the leaf season. We want to get the safety training in before they're all busy for leaf season. So Monday, September 27th, there'll be no uh, brush collection. Thank you. I have a motion to adjourn. Moved. We're adjourned.